Yo guys, Vinith here and by this time you probably have tons of video that is roaming around in your subscription box. I'm glad you chose this one. Let's get started. This is OnePlus 5T, a new flagship killer for OnePlus that killed their own 6 month old flagship, OnePlus 5. Sounds a little weird. The day OnePlus revealed its price, Twitter went absolutely crazy. Quite obvious because people bought OnePlus 5 not more than 6 months ago and they bought it for the same exact price. And now that's old school. With those thick forehead and chin, it looks tiresome and boring. It, It's old, let's put it that way. So OnePlus 5 owners have all the right to be angry. And want to know why? Well, you'll know as we go through 5T's features. Let's start with the unboxing experience. Here's everything that you get in the box. The phone, paperwork, SIM ejector tool, and addition to their standard accessories, a translucent soft case. Going further, you see the Type-C cable for charging and OnePlus famous OnePlus Dash charger. Now this guy has 5 volt, 4 amp output and I had a great time using it with my OnePlus 5 and I'm glad the experience continues with 5T. The first part of the design that I want to address and maybe the biggest improvement over OnePlus 5 the 2017-ish ready display that now has 18 to 9 aspect ratio as compared to the 16 to 9 one on the OnePlus 5. The overall size has remained almost same but you get bigger 6.01 inch screen size as compared to the 5.5 inch on OnePlus 5. The display has 2050 into 1080 pixels per inch. Still not 2K but those 401 pixels per inch looks neat. Even though the overall footprint hasn't increased a lot, the OnePlus 5T a tad bit taller than the OnePlus 5 but you'll barely notice it when you'll hold it. Due to larger display, the touch and capacitive keys are moved to the on-screen navigation buttons. It's a bit confusing if this is your first encounter with on-screen keys, just like me. Whenever I needed to access the bottom part of any application, I accidentally clicked on navigation keys. One more change OnePlus has done to 5T as they have moved the fingerprint sensor at the back, which is kind of a bummer in my opinion because you cannot unlock the phone with your finger when the phone is placed on the surface. But wait, they have now included a face unlock via the front facing camera, which doesn't exactly use the technology that is used in iPhone 10, but it is quite snappy when it comes to unlocking the device. If you're facing the phone and try to power on the display, then it will straight away go to the home screen. That looks solid. But your purchases and all, you still need to use your fingerprint scanner. I'm not sure about the security of face unlock and how it can be easily fooled, but I'll keep that for my full review. That might be the reason this feature isn't something that OnePlus hasn't banked on. It's still fast, in low light it does a good job but in complete dark condition it doesn't work at all. But hey, that's where the fingerprint scanner comes handy. Power button is situated at the right along with the SIM tray that hosts two random SIM cards. You also get USB Type-C port at the bottom which OnePlus has been using since OnePlus 2. And beside that you get speaker and a mic. Good to see that they haven't forgotten the 3.5mm headphone jack, which is not so 2017. The phone does look stunning in all metal flesh and with that midnight dark color. I really loved how the antenna lines are blended in the color. The back is damn slippery though, that may be the reason the free cover has been included. With all the flesh, 5T weighs only 162 grams, feels comfortable in hand with case of course and beautiful to look at. But OnePlus still has miles to go in terms of providing IP rating for water and scratch resistance since this phone does not have any official rating in this regards. The internals remain unchanged from its predecessor 5. The 5T also hosts Snapdragon 835 and Adreno 540 GPU. It comes with two RAM variants, 6GB and 64GB that sells for 33000 and another that has 8GB and higher 128GB storage which sells for 38000 rupees. Same exact pricing as it was for OnePlus 5. The benchmark scores are pretty amazing to look at and it doesn't seem to be an issue handling the high-end tasks like a boss. I will cover all those aspects in my full review. Now coming back to the back, the rear side that hosts sweet pair of dual camera sensors. The primary camera is 16 megapixel sensor with f1.7 aperture and the second lens is 20 megapixel sensor with the same f1.7 aperture. 
with wider 1.7 aperture the light intake is going to be insane giving you those awesome bokeh and, and low light performance is going to be a killer af both these lenses are already seen on oneplus 5 has exact same focal length same exact aperture but what oneplus claims says that it, the secondary lens is not a telephoto lens but a low light lens so whenever you're going to click a photo in the dark the secondary lens is going to be used by default so whenever you use that zoom feature on the camera app it is purely digital so this is the photo that is clicked without a zoom and this one clicked with 2x zoom feature on the app can't figure out the loss of quality here let me know what you guys think the 16 megapixel selfie camera comes with f2.0 aperture no depth mode as of now but you can expect it in oneplus 6 if that is around the corner here are some sample shots that i managed to click while making this video the color saturation is on point and the white balance also seems accurate in many occasions the low light shots are the ones which i think made my day The OnePlus 5T is equipped with 3300 mAh battery which seems less but the dash charger compensates for everything. Pretty nifty features that OnePlus hasn't forgotten in 5T. One of them is LED indicator, the alert slider which is unique to OnePlus and I kind of like it a lot. There's a back cover that came with it, saved my couple of 100 bucks. So overall a satisfying buying, unboxing and owning experience. The Oxygen OS and its features like OnePlus dock and gestures can also be found in this phone too. Lot of apps that nowadays come with 18 to 9 aspect ratio compatibility, so you won't feel out of place. Now, if you're a owner of OnePlus 5, then you might have feeling of being left out in dark. Last year, they did it with OnePlus 3 and 3T, so it's kind of becoming a trend, and people can see it. And OnePlus might find it hard in future convincing their prospects to buy their first iteration of the new generation phones. But I'm going to move my primary SIM card to the OnePlus 5T. and it is going to be my daily driver from today i'll be testing it intensively to bring you that ultimate review which is going to come very shortly so stick around don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already this has been vinit and i'll talk to you guys in the next one